B1 Ashmita this side from Saurabh Sir's classes. Now here we are presenting to you on the screen some questions from Library and Information Science. So we are going to discuss them. These are multiple choice questions and we can uh, select uh, uh, of course more than one option because as you can see on the screen there is A, B, C, um, then A, C, D. So like that we can choose more than one option also and we have to check um, whether it's correct or not. We have to first uh, get acquainted with the terms used in these questions. So yes, I'm going to discuss each of these terms before proceeding to the options. So which of these are based on Linux? Over here, we are going to uh, consider under Linux, Fedora, we can include then Ubuntu, you can include uh, Debian also we can include. So yes, A, C and D. Do we have that option? Yes, it's number uh, three. Next question. Identify the open source library automation software. Open source library automation software. Yes, we can include Opus, we can include Koha, we can include Evergreen ILS. Okay, so we are going with A, C and D. Again, uh, option three. The next question is select expert systems from among the following. Expert systems include, um, okay, first let us uh, uh, like check the options given. We can choose three options, right? So we can choose Mycene because Mycene was an early backward chaining expert system that uh, used the artificial intelligence or AI to identify the bacteria causing severe uh, infections. Then we can also consider the system called Prospector because this system was developed between 1976 and uh, 1981 and the main developers of this system were Richard um, Duda and John Gastring, then Peter Hart is there, then uh, Rene Ribot, then Nils Nelson. So all of them uh, uh, like made this pros uh, Prospector. So the original research was performed in SRI International, located, oh, SRI International which is uh, located at uh, Men Menlo Park which is currently in California. So yes, we can include these two of course. And it's better to go with these two. The other two are not correct. So we are going with B and D. B and D and A they have considered in this option and in this option also. So there is something wrong in the options given. We are going to choose B and D only, okay? Let's move over to the next question. An invitational metadata workshop organized at Dublin in 1995 and treated as the birthplace of uh, contemporary metadata was sponsored by whom? It was sponsored by Online Computer Library Center that is OCLC. Now USA where the scheme, scheme originated during the 1995 Invitational OL, uh, OCLC or the NCSA. So that uh, metadata workshop hosted by the OC, uh, OCLC. No, that even at that time it was known as OCLC. So Online Computer Library Applications over here now over here code refers to the metadata terms as broad and generic being uh, usable for describing a wide range of resources so the semantics of dublin core were established and were maintained by an international cross-disciplinary group of professionals from librarianship from computer science were also there from uh, text encoding museums and other related fields of scholarship and practice now see over here, we can also include uh, option A, National Center for Supercomputing Application because NCSA is also there. So we are going to consider option A and C as the correct answers. So we have A and C as our correct answers. Moving over to question 60, which of the following are examples of non-probability uh, sampling? Now over here, some commonly used non-probability uh, sampling methods include uh, the convenience sampling method or the haphazard sampling method so we can include that volunteer sampling method judgment sampling then quota sampling uh, then uh, snowball or network sampling uh, then uh, crowd uh, crowd sampling is there 
and uh, web panels are there. So we are going with A and C only. Moving over to the next question. Who among the following were members of the advisory committee for the libraries in 1957? It was... Um, Okay, so first let us discuss who were the members of the advisory committee. Uh, the, uh, the chairman over here was K.P. Sinha. Then uh, the member was uh, Bhadriya, U. Bhadriya was there. Then uh, other members included B.S. Uh, Kesavan. Then uh, S. Sait was there. T.D. Wakris was there. Then Sohan Singh as a secretary was there. Over here, we can go with only this one, that is Kesavan. Others were not there. Okay, go with only this one, B.S. Kesavan. Okay, let's move over to the next question. The next question says, which among the following are examples of primary channels of communicating research? Uh, of course, journals are there. These are the primary channels of communicating research, of course. So, we are going with this one. And, uh, yeah, primary sources, uh, primary channels of communicating the research. Encyclopedias are there. So, we can go with, uh, yeah, theses are also there. Primary source, uh, let's include A and C. Okay, A and C, it's, it would be better. Moving over to the next question. Which of the following are true about the Special Libraries Association, that is the SLA? Uh, now, the Special Libraries Association traces its beginning from 1909. So, of course, it's uh, correct. The first point is correct. Um, and uh, uh, like in the beginning, there, there was a group of 20 librarians who gathered at the Mount Washington Hotel in Breton Woods. Um, so, nothing of that sort uh, is given over here. And this Breton Woods was at uh, New Hampshire to discuss a new kind of librarianship that they were practicing. So, the gathering uh, which was held in conjunction with a meeting of the American Library Association had been called by John Cotton uh, Dana. So, we can get to see it in point two. John Cotton Dana was there and uh, he was the founder and the first president of uh, Special Libraries Association. So, we can go with A and B only. Moving over to the next question. Which of the following are related to Aglinet? Okay, Aglinet uh, is... See, Aglinet was founded in 1971 and uh, that was done, uh, founded within the framework of International Association of Agriculture uh, Librarians and Documentalists. So, uh, so we can say, uh, first one can be the correct one, Voluntary Network of Agriculture Libraries Around the World. And Agrinet had its co-coordinating uh, center at the FAQ David Lubin Memorial Library since its inception. So the world had uh, agreed to provide upon request speedy interlibrary loan, reproductions, pitch or photocopy and bibliographic information to other member libraries normally without charge. So we can say, okay. So, this Aglinet centers are only asked to provide literature which were originating in the country, region or specialization concerned and uh, are invited to provide exchange publications on a voluntary cooperative basis. And in the past, we can say that many worthy projects have strengthened the cost effectiveness of the partnership and cooperative networks such as Aglinet can be revitalized again and redirected to take advantage of this technology. So, we might include, yes, I have already told A would be there, uh, C would also be there. Aglinet centers provide partner libraries with access to the, lit to the literature originating in the country, region and so on. So, of course, we are going with A and C over here. Moving over to the next question. 
I'll be keeping it till here in this video. And if you want to follow my solutions and if you want to have interactive sessions, then you can join our classes and have the live lectures and recorded lectures, portal access, doubt clearing sessions, mock tests and the study materials. So do contact us and the contact details are given in the description box below this video. Do contact us and do get enrolled for your better preparation. Thank you for being with me till the end of this class.